Hi, welcome to the Steve Taylor Community Connection Show. I am Terry Crosby, the Community Outreach Ambassador for the Taylor Automotive Family. And we are so, so thrilled this morning to have a very, very special guest, Dr. McKether. That's it. From the University of uh, Toledo. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome. Well, thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Much appreciated. So just enlighten us and uh, what it is that you do out the university. Certainly, absolutely. Thank you for the question, Terry. So I've been at the university since 2005. I'm from Michigan originally, oh. and um, I arrived at the university um, initially as an assistant professor of anthropology. So I'm an anthropologist by training. Right. And so I, I taught um, in the classroom for the first eight or nine years, but it was during that time where I began to recognize what I thought were discrepancies in student performance. I started what I would say running my mouth, asking questions about who's responsible, for ensuring student success. And ultimately, I think that got up to several deans in the president's office. And ultimately, I was promoted to the associate dean of a college, which is now Arts and Letters. And certainly- Congratulations. Well, thank you, man. It was good, man. It was, it was you know, for me coming from where I come from, yes. I never imagined myself becoming I'm a vice president now, but right. let alone an associate dean at the time. And that gave me a larger platform, really, to talk about these issues. During that time, established a number of you know programs for students, but then ultimately, then we got a new president in 2015, Sharon Gaber, yes. and she began to ask, where is the university's roadmap for diversity? Um, we didn't have one at the time. She then asked if I, while I was serving as the associate mm -hmm. dean, mm -hmm. if I would pull double duty and oh. serve as a special assistant to the president for diversity and take the lead in writing this diversity plan. So I pulled together uh, 15 to 20 people from throughout campus mm -hmm. and we wrote the plan. And then once the plan was complete, she then asked if I'd be interested in serving as the first or inaugural um, vice president for diversity. And that was important because yes. she wanted to ensure that I was at the table where decisions were being made about diversity. And so in that conversation, in, in the negotiations, because of, of my passion for student success, um, I negotiated an additional title of Vice Provost, which gave me the authority to make decisions about what happens to student success. And so, so now here we are five years later, you know, so I now serve as the Vice President for Diversity, Inclusion, and Vice Provost. And so what that means, you know, I'm responsible for helping to ensure that all faculty, staff, and students, that we have diversity in those areas, first of all. Right. But remember, diversity is about representation. Right. And so that was the initial conversation, but we've evolved our narrative from just diversity to also think about inclusion. Yes. Because you can have diverse people, but if they don't feel included, mm -hmm. it's not gonna matter a whole yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, and, and so now we've evolved from there to equity. Are people being successful regardless of where they come from. And so my job is to help ensure working with my great um, senior colleagues and folks across campus right. to help ensure that all of our faculty, staff, and students are equitable and feel welcome. For me, you know, growing up, you know, I've always recognized that whatever I do is not about me, right. you know, and yes. there's nothing more liberating to be in a position that you really love to do yes. and be at a place in your life where you realize that that my life's work is not about me. It's right. about how I serve others, right. you know? And so for me, so what you see in me working hard and being out in the community, right. working with different groups, with students, with whomever, right. you know, it's like, look, that's part of my responsibility and recognizing that this is really not about me. Yeah, and I can resonate with that so well because uh, I just currently now in my own personal life and, and what I do every day uh, in representation of the Taylor Automotive family, mm -hmm. uh, you know, given a platform to give back to people in our communities uh, and just be blessed to have Mr. Taylor and Steve Jr., his son, uh, allow me to do that. And the rest of the, the Taylor team is just phenomenal. You know, and Terry, and that is so critically important. And I tell you, I have appreciated your presence in the various places we see each yes. other throughout the community. Yes. And, and as you represent the Taylor family and, and the work, and it's so know that it's being noticed, that your yes. work, your presence is being noticed. And so yes. thank you for the work that you do. But I don't do it for that reason. No, I get I, it. I, I don't do it. it for that. Like, you, you know, I've, I've been on center stage for pretty much all my life. 
And I just love people, you, you, you know what I mean? And giving back and supporting people. Absolutely. So it's not about me. I don't want anybody to ever think that anything's about me. It's, it's about you, okay? Yeah, yeah. And what I can do to support uh, the things that, whatever you may get, I need in life. So sure, sure. I have another question uh, uh, to ask you before I bring my boss on, uh, Mr. Steve Tanner. Uh, I understand that the uh, Interdenominational mm -hmm. Ministerial Alliance, mm -hmm. IMA, uh, and the University of Toledo are partnering in the capacity of, you guys have created a Rance Allen Scholarship Fund. Absolutely. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay. I'd just like you to elaborate to our audience a little bit more. Take a step back and, and just recognize who Rance Allen was, the man. Yes. You know, he were, he had, we had a person here in Toledo, I don't think he was born here, but spent most of his adult life here. Mm -hmm. Here's an internationally known gospel uh, recording artist who was known for not only his artistry and music, but for transforming people's lives yes. right here in Toledo. And so when he passed away, I felt that the university could do something to help honor his memory mm -hmm. and his legacy. Right. So I was able to take the lead, work with the university to create the Rance Allen Scholarship. And that's an endowed scholarship, which means you know, we're raising, we're hoping to raise at least a $25,000 amount, which then will kick off each year you know, a certain percentage for scholarship. Yes. And so we created that scholarship, um, got that got that approved by the university. But then in conversations with Pastor Brock, who I didn't know was a good friend of Rance Allen and the Allen family, mm -hmm. who also leads the IMA, said, well, why don't we collaborate? And we work with the IMA and we'll help you to raise those funds to get to that $25,000 mark. And so it's been just a wonderful collaboration with the IMA. Pastor Brock has been phenomenal to work with. Yes. He's introduced me to people I would have never known yes. existed. And, and so again, the scholarship is intended though, once it gets funded, we'll fund a student from, um, from TPS who wants to attend the university and major in music or right. theater, something like that. Right. And so, you know, so look, it's 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 a, it's a it was an honor to do it. it gave me a chance to, to meet his wife at, at one point. And so she's a, a, just, just a wonderful family. And so again, one of those things that, again, realizing it's not about me, yes. it's about how we honor the legacy, you know, of Rance Allen, right. but also in the process of doing that, providing an opportunity for a student to, to, to go to college. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it for me. I would like to bring on uh, our boss, uh, Mr. Steve Taylor Jr. And I think he's going to ask you a couple questions. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Hey, everybody. Steve Taylor here with Steve Taylor's Community Connection. I'm proud to have Dr. McKeever here with us today. There are so many talented people in our town that unfortunately people don't know about. That's right. And you guys are doing a great job to, to let his spirit and legacy live on with this, you know, with this great scholarship. Mm -hmm. But it also got me thinking, we were down at the library last week and we talked about how unbelievable and amazing that library is. We've got things like the museum, so many great things in our backyard. And one of which is the University of Toledo. Yeah. Right. You've been here since 2005. Correct. And you know, I think as residents of Northwest Ohio, sometimes these things that are great, our metro parks, you know, there's so many great things about Toledo, we forget about them. I want you to take this a little bit of time to maybe brag about the university and some of the things that you've seen over the last 15 years and how the university has grown, really. Sure. You know, I tell you, uh, prior to coming to the university in 2005, I had not heard about the University of Toledo. <laughs> but I tell you, and to your point, um, since I've been here, it's like, it, there's so many things to do. This is a wonderful place to live, a wonderful place to raise a family. You know, so I, I love it here. You know, but I tell you, the University of Toledo, for me, it, it means many things. You know, I think it, 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 it provides this opportunity for people from a wide range of backgrounds the opportunity to go to college. Sure. So it provides access to people, but what that means, it transforms lives in the process. You know, I can tell you, I mentioned this earlier, I think, you know, we were able to start a summer program, for example, and the university fully supported it, and it allowed us to bring in up to 30 students who would have been somewhat challenged without this program. Hmm. Brought in those 30 students, here we are now six years in, and now, 
many of those students are graduate students getting a PhD, doing professional things. But to me, that's what a University of Toledo does. It provides that opportunity for a wide range of people. And from where I sit in my role of diversity and inclusion, is making sure that when we bring those people in, even if they're students, faculty, or staff, we're making sure they can be successful. So in addition to the students, you know, we are number two employer in this area. Right, right. Um, and so you talk about economic infusion of the region, that's important as well. Do you have any stories that stick out that says, here's a way that I played a small part in changing someone's life? Uh, I'm putting you on the spot, but I, I know you've got something. You've made a big difference in a lot of people. Right, right. So, I, so, so I, I'll tell you one story, and, 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 this is, and this is a young man who, if you're ever looking to interview a young person, get their thoughts. So I mentioned the program that we developed six years ago. And so this young man, I remember when I first met him, he was like 18 years old. And we were recruiting. This was our first year of the program. So we had a hard time recruiting people. So we set up a booth in the student union and as parents walk by with their kids, we just grabbed them. And so this kid was walking by. He's going to ignore me at first. His mom said, you better stop and talk to this guy. <laughs> and so talked to him and said, man, you need to do this six-week program, and then we'll look out for you your first year. And so um, he joined the program. Now this young man has graduated with not only his bachelor's in business, he's now doing his master's in business with a focus in marketing. He, I think last year, spent the summer in D.C. Uh, with senators, and now it's about to apply for a Ph.D. program. I mean, so that's just one example. Um, I, there are many others sure. of a story of, here's a kid who probably he had the potential, but with a little bit of mentoring and paying a little bit of attention, this young man now is phenomenal. That's great. Oh, what a great story. And yeah. I, I'm sure, like you said, you've got plenty more like that, but you know, hats off to you for what you've done, not only at the university, but in our community. You know, we owe you a debt of gratitude. What I like to do on a show like this is raise awareness, you know, sure. not only to the organization or to the people. You know, as Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion at the university, how can other organizations such as ours or even individuals in the community, what can we do to help, you know, really push that that forward? Because that's, you know, let's face it, that's something we need to have a conversation about. Sure. And, and everybody in the community needs to strive to make it a better place. Sure, you know, I'll tell you, Steve, that's a great question. And, you know, the easy answer is to talk about money. So, okay, yes, giving money is always good. However, people or organizations, the Steve Taylor of the world, for example, serving on committees and boards where decisions are being made about, for example, what's the best way to train our business students? So to have a Steve Taylor, you know, or somebody from the Steve Taylor family to be on those boards, to have those conversations, say, look, you know, from a real perspective, your students ought to be doing this. So I think serving on those kind of kind of boards, be, being present, serving as mentors uh, for, for students. We, we have all we always have students, you know, who are looking for mentors, and you know, and those and so mentors come in many different ways. You know, I could I could see Terry Crosby easily become the mentor sure. to students at the University of Toledo. So I think being present and some ways just asking the question, how can I help? Yeah. You know, I think that's really important. That's great. That's great. Well, I know. On behalf of Terry and Tom Cole, myself, we appreciate you being here today, taking time out of your busy schedule. And I'm sure Terry, Tom, we'd all love to help out the university, be mentors. So if anybody knows anyone that's looking for some guys that would love to help, and if you know somebody that's out there that would like to get involved, you can always reach out to Dr. Makita at the university. We need more people that are working toward that same common goal and helping people, you know, of all walks of life, really elevate, you know, and be the best person they can be. Exactly. That's what we try to do at the dealership every single day. And, you know, I think if more people that are working on that, it's a better community, better place to live. You said it all. Thank you yeah. so much. Well, appreciate thank you for being here today. Really, really a pleasure. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for tuning in to the Steve Taylor Community Connection. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.